I'm going to start with the hexagonal head. Go over here, click and hold, and then I see the polygon tool. I click on that. And if I click and hold on the screen, you can see that the default is a hexagon. I'm gonna hold the shift key, and I'm going to rotate, hold shift, and rotate so that the point is facing down. Okay, so the next thing is we want to build the center triangle right here. So I'm gonna click a hold, uh, click on the polygon tool again, and I'm gonna click and hold, but this time I'm gonna press down so that it's a triangle. And I'm gonna hold the shift key and um, draw the triangle just like that. And I'm gonna rotate it by holding the shift key all the way around. Like that. What I want is this tip to be below these two corners here. And I want this horizontal line to be just below these corners right here. Okay, and I wanna hold the shift key and drag to change the size. And I wanna make sure it's a perfectly aligned towards the center. See how I move it over and I see the intersect? perfectly aligned. I'm gonna hold the Alt key and zoom in a little bit more. Okay, so now I need to create the other edges to make this icosahedron shape. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this by holding this triangle by holding the Alt key, clicking and dragging, and then releasing. All right, so I'm going to change it like this. I'm gonna line this up so that it meets up. It intersects with that bottom line. And I'm gonna drag this down, and I wanna meet this so that it meets up with that anchor point right there, okay? Now I'm just gonna go along, and I'm going to create the other sides, okay? So I copied it. This time I'm gonna, I've been using the selection tool. Now I wanna use the direct selection tool. So I'm gonna click over here on that anchor, and then I'm gonna move it over, and then I'm gonna move it right onto that anchor point right there. And I'm gonna click on this anchor and move it over here. And then I'm gonna click on this anchor and move it over here. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna copy this again. I'm gonna click on this anchor, move it over here. I wanna make sure that I don't leave any angle out, okay? I don't wanna leave any sides out. So I'm gonna click over here I, I, on this area that I haven't drawn, and I wanna change the color, just so I know that I've filled up all of the sides. I'm gonna hold the Alt key, drag it over. This time I'm going to use the Reflect button, so I'm gonna right click transform, reflect, click OK. And then I'll drag over there so that it meets up. Hold the Alt key, right click, transform, reflect. Click OK, drag that over. So you can see it's starting to take shape. Okay, so now we have the complete icosahedron. Click on the first triangle, hold the shift key, and with my left mouse, click again, and just keep on clicking so that I select all of these triangles. And I'm gonna move it over. And see, there's that original hexagon that I was drawing. Just delete that, because we don't need it anymore. Okay, and so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna remove the outline. And I'm gonna go through here and I'm going to color each one of these triangles um, so that it gives it more of a 3D appearance. So I'm gonna start with the, the bottom here to give kind of the darkest shade. I'm gonna go up here to this mouse. First, I want to, um, I'm gonna add this, even though it's right here, I wanna add it down here so that I know that this is the color that is a part of this, um, color, I'm gonna drag this down to the bottom. But now I wanna darken this, so I'm gonna hold the shift key and click. I'm gonna change this to HSB, darken that 
bottom side. I'm gonna make it about like that. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Hold the shift key, darken it a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so there's a 3D icosahedron right here. Uh, we're gonna build look kind of like a neck right here. So I clicked and hold over here, then move to the rounded rectangle. And I'm just gonna draw something that looks like that. I'm gonna hold the eye to absorb this color. And I'm gonna use this color quite a bit. So I'm going to click down here and I'm gonna add that as a swatch and click OK. See it added it on the end. Anytime you have a color that you're gonna be using repeatedly, just add that swatch. It'll make it a lot easier for you in the end. Click on the selection tool and kind of drag it up. It's gonna add it in front, but we wanna move it to the back. Right click, arrange, send to back. Say so that moves it in the back. I don't actually like that it's the same color as this one, so I'm gonna darken it some more. Hold the shift and change this to HSV, and let's darken it a little bit more. Okay, notice that there was a triangle, white triangle before, that you can see right here, but it's removed now, and that's because we're no longer using this swatch, we deviated it from this color right here. So I'm gonna add that, okay, so that I have that darker color right there. So now we're gonna add this sheath part. Click on the, the ellipse tool, I'm gonna hold the shift key and I don't know, draw something about like that. I want this, the brighter one. That's a, I want the brighter color that's reminiscent of this color up here, I don't know, just for my preference. And then on the outside, I want to have this darker brown. Okay, and maybe make it a little line a little thicker. Let's add a gradient here. So I'm gonna, let's zoom in, hold the Alt key, zoom in, and I'm gonna add a little bit of a gradient. So I'm gonna click on gradient. If you don't see this over here, go up to window, and then click on gradient, drag it over. I'm gonna click on, make sure that this fill is up on top, and click on radial gradient. Now, change a whole bunch of things here, that's okay. Now that we have these colors saved, we can click on this, go to the swatches and it's right here at our disposal, okay? And I want to make this look a little more 3D. If it's, see, if we're, we're trying to make this look like a sphere, right? Now, if this is a sphere, it is bright in the center. And what that would mean is that when you're looking at this object, the light source that's shining onto the sphere is coming from your nose and in reality, that never happens. <laughs> you know, it will never happen. I mean, maybe if you're a camcorder, but you're not. You're when you look in real life, the light source usually comes up, comes at an angle. You know, it's the sun or whatever. And so this is unrealistic, and your brain knows the difference. Okay, so it it this looks odd to your brain. So what I recommend is clicking on Edit Gradient and moving this gradient up. And, you, and it just looks so much more real that way, okay? I mean, it's, it's subtle. And this, this, this circle is tiny, but believe me, it, it, it does make a difference, okay? Copy this, hold the Alt key, drag. Hold the Alt key, drag. We're gonna make, I don't know, something like that, okay? I'm gonna move this down, select all of these, and I'm gonna uh, make the, this alignment. If you don't see this control toolbar up here, um, which I should have mentioned before, you click on window and click, make sure this control toolbar is selected. It's super important to have this control toolbar. Okay, so we've did, this right here is, let me just show you what was going on. I had these things misaligned, select all of these objects, hold the shift key to unselect that. So now you have these things here. Okay, and I want to um, 
vertically align or di vertically distribute this so that it's a diagonal. So I'm just gonna click on this to make, some, make them vertically distributed. And then I'm gonna do the same thing as horizontally distributed. So that way that everything's even. And mm, I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna change the angle just a little bit just by dropping this last one, bringing this one down and then select it again and let's do a vertical distribute. We don't have to do the horizontal because it's already been distributed properly. All right, so I'm just gonna drag this up here, something like that. Zoom out and we'll, hmm. Let's make this a little smaller. Hold the shift key, and drag it down. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. Sorry, it's a little bit, it's art, right? So sometimes you have to, tinker with it. Okay, so now we're gonna copy this downward, okay? This is a super to awesome tool. Click on object, I love that they do this. This is click on repeat and click on grid. It's gonna copy that object many times, okay? So, and then you can just change the width of that copy and the height of that copy and the density of that copy. Super cool, I love it. Okay, and let's lower this down a little bit. Oh, let's go a little bit up. Okay, perfect. Okay, now that's that spiral. Now I wanna cap both ends because I think it looks a little bit odd having this cut off like that. So I'm gonna click over here, the rounded rectangle tool and drag it over. Okay, let's drag this one over here, something like that. And I actually like that this is, has a gradient to it. So what well, we're gonna do a linear gradient. Okay, looks pretty good. And let's increase the stroke size, something like that. Okay, so now we're getting to it. Um, hmm. I don't know, maybe change this co this color on the gradient. Let's double click over here and then change this one to yellow, I guess. You can tinker with it to make it look however you want. Oh, cancel. All right, and then click on this, hold the Alt key and drag it down. All right. And uh, let's group these here. I'm gonna select all of these objects here, hold control, press G. Select, um, I'm gonna select these things right here and do center align. Mm, let's move this one over. It looks like there's a little bit of a gap. Something like that, okay. Select all of these and do center line. Okay. Uh, make this a little bit larger. And we're gonna draw the legs. So I'm gonna use this pen tool. I'm gonna remove this fill, okay? And let me make sure this is the right color. This is a pretty good color. And I'm gonna start by just drawing the feet. Good. Press escape. I'm gonna go over here to the selection tool and I'm gonna make this thicker. So let me click away and then click again. And I wanna make this thicker. Okay. Now you can change the edges here. See how it's very sharp right there? If you click on stroke, you can change this to rounded cap and rounded corners. But I don't know, I kinda of like the jagged edge. It looks pretty cool to me. So I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that. Um, yeah, you know what? I I want this to be more of a rounded edge actually. So I'm gonna change the the cap to round. That'll make it very nice. All right. So I'm going to keep drawing these legs. click on that object, right click, arrange, send to back. Do the same thing for this one, right click, 
arrange, send to back. Okay, so I'm gonna select these. I'm gonna go object, expand, and click okay. To turn these into shapes. Okay, so I'm gonna select these. So they're no longer lines, they're actually just shapes. And I'm gonna click, uh, I don't know, maybe a black outline. Click on this and uh, maybe change it to um, a dark brown outline. That's kind of cool. That's how you draw a bacteriophage in Adobe Illustrator.